This man is no ordinary biker. Levi Wantrub left a job at Google and a life of luxury in the United States, sold everything he had, and hit the road. Before arriving in Tanzania, he had traveled through nine countries in Africa by motorbike. And although visually rewarding, he says the trip almost killed him when he came off the wheels in Namibia. Here I was on the side of the road in the middle of nowhere on, in the mountains, um, you know, with... <laughs> I, I knew I had at least one broken bone, and that, but it was the most painful experience of my life. I mean, three and a half hours, I mean, after an hour, the adrenaline wears off, and it's just <laughs> unbelievable pain. <laughs> after being saved by villagers, Levi got back on the bike, and upcoming software developers in Tanzania would be pleased to know he kept going, as Levi is now putting his knowledge and experience to good use build more of a, a technology hub here in Dar, right? Because th that, that provides great jobs and economic development. And, you know, that's, that, that's where I, I see myself being the most useful on here, is, is trying to foster that. Levi says his passion is mentoring, but he also enjoys cultural interaction. Now he's using both skills to teach coding at this innovation hub. Before moving to another country, Levi is planting seeds of programming knowledge. It will grow and help hundreds long after he's gone. Tanzania is in its infancy when it comes to software engineering. And although there's been rising interest, most young developers lack access to high-level training. What we're missing here is having a veteran, an industry veteran, to channel what we're supposed to do rather than try different mm -hmm. set of things. And having someone like Levi, that would be really, really helpful. Experts say Africa is on the verge of a huge technological breakthrough. So as Levi continues his travels across the continent, learning about different cultures, he hopes to make further inroads towards bridging the IT gap. Daniel Kijo, CGTN, Dar es Salaam, Tanzania.